Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michal Ludwig, and I'm from the Open University, from the KMI, uh, from the Open Knowledge Media Institute. And I would like to present our idea for recommendations of uh, the study materials based on past students' activity, which we develop uh, within the OU Analyze project. Uh, let me to start with some introduction of the background. At the Open University, each course has some study plan, which is divided into several blocks, which represent some main topics of the course. And the blocks are further divided into several parts, and the parts are related to the weeks of the study plan. Uh, often the, the course is uh, offered to the student in a, a uh, in a number of consequent, uh, consecutive years, and therefore we can use some data from the previous presentation of the course for our analysis and our idea of the recommendation. What is very important here is to say that uh, the study plan of the, the presentations in the particular years is very similar, uh, and we can use this, uh, but uh, of course it can be happen that uh, sometimes there are some switch of the materials between the parts or the breaks is arranged in the other, other weeks of the, of the course. So if we say that we use the uh, uh, yearly activity from the previous uh, presentation of the course, here you can see some example of the cumulative sum of the yearly activity for several study materials. In, in the time, in the time of presentation. And what is very really important for this picture is the moments of the increasing of the VLE activity. And you can see that, for example, the orange one has one increasing in the time, but for example, the blue one has two increasing in the time. It means that the study material was used for two times in two difficult uh, difficult weeks uh, of the of the presentation, uh, but we cannot use the raw really activity because there is two issues with this. The first one is the problem with the study material types at the open university and the uh, open university uh, in the virtual learning environment is uh, many of study materials types and uh, these types are really different in the way how the student can study uh, this material, because for example, the OU content is some study material which is available on uh, uh, on web online, and we can suppose that the student create, uh, creates more yearly activity on the OU content material. In the other side, on the other side, uh, the resource is uh, mainly some file, some PDF document or uh, Word document, and the student can download this material and study this material offline. So we need to normalize the VLE activity of these particular types that we can represent this VLE activity uh, the, in one, in one uh, pool. The second problem, or the second issue, is connected with our previous research where we found out that uh, there are some, let's say, Learn, path, learn paths in the time over the particular study, activi study activity, study materials, and study materials type. And uh, what is important that uh, the path of the unsuccessful students, of the failed student, is different than the path of the successful students, of the uh, past students. And uh, of course, there is no one path for the successful students and the, for, for the past students, but uh, there is many paths for this, and we need to aggregate this information to one representation. So let me to introduce the first measure which we, uh, which we proposed. Uh, this is called relevance, and uh, this measure is, describes aggregate information about the student's activity in the past. And it's defined for some specific cohort of the students. How you can see, for example, on the first red relevance, 
Of course, the high relevance for this study material is in the week one, because this uh, study material is assigned for the week one. But what is more important, there is some second, second uh, peak of the relevance in the weeks seven and eight, and it means that the, student, that the, student, the students use this material repeatedly. And uh, it can be very useful because there, we can suppose that there is some reason for, to, uh, for, for which the students study the material again. Of course, if we have some you know, representation of the past, of the past, we need of, of, uh, some representation of the current for the current uh, current presentation for the current run of the course, and therefore we use the second uh, measures which we call effort, and this uh, measure is the same basis like the relevance, but there is two important difference. The first important difference is that the effort is intended for individual students. So uh, this is the way how we can personalize the recommendation by the, by the really activity of some individual students. And, and the second different thing is of course, here you can see the effort for whole presentation it's because we need to some evaluate this. But uh, in the current course, you have the effort to the current week of the, of the presentation, let's say to the week 10, and you don't know the, the future of the, of, the, of the presentation. Therefore, we need to use some information from the previous course, like for the normalization of the of the VLE activity and use it. So this is the idea for the recommendation and uh, how we how we want to do the recommendation uh, in uh, in the particular weeks. Let's use this picture and we can say that we have Mr. Relevance and Mr. Effort and if the Mr. Relevance is high, of course, then we need to increase the Mr. Effort and we need to find some balance between these two measures. And uh, if we can do it, this is the result of our recommendation which we, which we want. Of course, this is the idea, but we need to, we need to some evaluation for this, for this idea. The first evaluation which we prepared was comparison of excellent students' behavior uh, by, the, by the correlation between the basis study material from the previous presentation of the course and the current presentation of the course. How we can see that uh, the correlation is really high for the same study material from the previous and from the uh, from the current presentation. So this was the first evaluation that the idea has some some sense, and we can we can um, continue with uh, next analysis. So the next step of evaluation is uh, based on uh, dividing of the students to the three groups: the excellent students, past students, and failed students. And uh, we want to compare this three, the, the effort from these three groups with the relevance, which is built uh, from the activity of the excellent students from the previous presentation. And that is the first result. It's the comparison of the excellent students from the previous presentation and excellent students from the current presentation. And how we can see that it's the precision and the recall and how you can see that there's, of course, some variability between the um, previous and uh, current presentation. But what is important that in the median, the precision is 78% and the recall is 75%. Mm, uh, that's the, this is not surprise because we suppose that uh, the excellent students from the previous presentation and excellent students from the current presentation should be more or less similar. But uh, what happened if we try to compare 
the excellent students from the previous presentation and the past students from the current presentation. And here the result is really different because mainly the precision is very, very low that the lower that the precision of the comparison of excellent students. It means if we want to interpret the precision, it means that the student use only 39% of recommended study materials. That the excellent student use the 78% of the recommended materials. That is not significant at this moment, but it's very important uh, difference between these uh, two uh, values. And of course, if we want to uh, compare the excellent student and the failed students, there is no more for comparison because the failed students have very, very low activity. Uh, so, a um, conclusion, we introduce idea of study materials recommendation approach the base on uh, approach based on the relevance which measure some yearly activity of students from the previous presentation and the effort uh, which measure uh, the, the which measures the uh, yearly activity of individual students from the current presentation and we compare the recommendation pool of these students uh, with the effort uh, effort of excellent students, past students, and fail students. Uh, some future work. Uh, we want to we want to express the knowledge of the recommendation by the associative rules, because it's uh, for this moment the best uh, approach how to how to express the knowledge which we have uh, in the in the recommendation pool. Further, uh, we want to evaluate the, the proposed approach for more courses because now we evaluate this uh, approach only for one course and two presentations. And finally, we want to find strategy for finding critical recommendation under time limitations. It means if, this, for example, the student is three, two, three weeks before the TMA and they want the assessment, and we uh, need to know that we can to recommend some important to the students and make the students successful. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Some questions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is. Yeah. This is the. This is the on the score, of the on the score of the assessment. Yes. And you can the, the tree that it's more than seventy five percent is the excellent student. There is some middle between the seventy five and forty percent, and the forty percent is the level for pass of the course. In the one course, it's uh, something like 1,000 students, and the, in the excellence uh, group, it's something like 600 students. In the past, it's something like 400, 450 students, and the fail is, I think, 300, 350 students. No, no, we are, the real activity means to click to some, some material, yes? That the video is not included in this, yeah? So if you have, like I said, the audio content type of material, you have some web presentation or some material which, which is uh, available on the web. It means that the student needs more clicks to go through the material, yeah? And of course, you can extract from this the information, the normalized information, where is the peak, where is the most important to study this material. And on the second, 
Yes, and the, the relevance you do, you can uh, you can uh, prepare for some uh, cohort of the students. So you have some aggregated information about the relevance. For the effort, uh, the approach is similar, but you prepare the effort just for the individual students. Mm, yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question, but in this, in, at this moment, no. And we think it's, it's, it's not so easy uh, issue to measure this time. We have some data with the time uh, of the, of the, between the, the clicks, but there is problem with uh, the too long times and too short times and so on. But yes, it's the in the future work. Uh, 